Hello, people. I just want to rant for a minute and see if there's any Fallout fans who feel my pain. Which I know there are because I've heard other people do the same thing. I don't know what to think about Bethesda and in their current state anymore. I was such a Bethesda fanboy. I mean, I was getting ready to get um, pictures of Todd Howard to hang in my house. I was going to get a Bethesda tattoo. I was a fanboy. I was a little disappointed with what they did to my favorite Elder Scrolls series with uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. Some people call it Skyrim Online. And I played that game and it has some value to it. It's not the same experience. They totally took everything out of the game that I like as far as the sneaking and the individual thing where this massive world is, you know, all mine. I'd like to be able to share it with a single friend, but not everybody and his fucking brother and totally spoil the whole uh, slow-paced, you know, sneak up on them and stab them in the back kind of thing. But, you know, everybody has to run through hack and slash whatever. Okay, they're making money at hand over fist. Great. They then, like, repurposed Skyrim itself over and over and over again. Made a PS4 version, Xbox version, your version, I don't know. I think they even made one for, like, Surrey or something like that. One of those speech things. Okay, so it's clear that they like money. But, you know, they're still making good games. They made Skyrim. They made Fallout 3. They let the best people who've ever worked for them make Fallout New Vegas, which is undoubtedly, more people argue than not, it's the best one. They made Fallout 4. Now, don't get me wrong. I played like 200 characters on Fallout 4. I still pull it today. Guess where I am? I'm in the game right now. But, as far as a Fallout game goes, this was, in the Fallout series, as, at the time of its release, it was the worst in the series. Had it not been for the build system, Fallout 4 would have seen the same or worse acceptance than what that stupid uh, 76 has gotten. Now, I'm going to get to 76 in a minute, but a couple of points I'd like to make out about this. They took away all our choices, so they dumbed everything down. They made it for the general population, and it's like an idiot who's never played Fallout. Uh, that's, that's who they made this for. They didn't make this for the Fallout fans. Because the Fallout fans like choices and options. They like to get to Concord and decide, eh, I don't like either one of them. I'm going to go on down the street. Or, eh, I'm going to join the Raiders and kill the fucking Minutemen. Or, I am going to work with the Minutemen, but I'd like about discover about five different ways that I can work with the Minutemen. Maybe I'll lead them somewhere else instead of Sanctuary. Maybe I'll have two or three different hundred different kinds of guns on my way there instead of the same basic ones. And I know that Bethesda says, there's hundreds of guns in this game. Bullshit. There are like two basic pistols and some basic... Crate Gardens? Uh, okay. There are two basic pistols and a few basic rifles, some lasers, blah, blah, blah. There's basic generic guns. The reason they say there's hundreds of them because there's different legendary effects that can go on each one. So even though you only have like 10, 10 millimeters that are all exactly the same and use the same ammo, Bethesda says those 10, 10, 10 millimeters are all 10 different guns because they have different legendary effects. Bullshit. 
Don't count the legendary effects. Count the different types of basic ammo there are. That's how many guns there are. 10 millimeters? Okay, 10 millimeter. It doesn't matter what the effect is from it. It's still a fucking 10 millimeter that looks exactly the same as all the other 10 millimeters. It's gonna look the same when it shoots, it's gonna look the same when it's a, when it's just out. It's a 10 millimeter. Anyways, give us back our choices. Give us back our options. Do a better job of, uh, you know, building guns. And don't build anything like that stupid crank laser or those junk-ass pieces of uh, pipe pistols. Those things. I thought, when I started playing this game, I thought the pipe pistol was the worst gun I had ever seen. Uh, neat idea. It's immersive because it's a pipe pistol. Okay, I'll accept that. But then you get your first crank laser. You're like, oh, it's got a crank on it, so it's like a solar thing, so maybe I never have to put ammo in it. Because it's like a solar crank, I can crank it up and charge it. Yeah, okay, so no ammo. What, what, wait. I still have to put ammo in it? So, it's a laser rifle, just like any other laser rifle that I still have to put ammo in. Well, what the hell is the purpose of the crank? Does it make it super powerful? No, no, no. It doesn't make it super powerful. Oh. So there's no fucking purpose to the crank. Except for to cause you time while something's running in to kill you. Thanks. I'll pass. Again, train schedule. Yep. Without the build system, this, this would have been a fucking failure. The build system, and then the ability for modders to add parts to the build system. That's what saved this game. Not the storyline. Not the options that they gave us. Because they gave us no options. They did a horrible fucking storyline. They did a horrible fucking two, two character ending. Male, female. Nothing you do in the world affects the ending. At all. Not one damn bit. You join the Institute, you join the Minutemen, you join the Brotherhood, you kill all of the motherfuckers. You blow the whole fucking place up. Doesn't matter. Your ending's still exactly the same. Kill everybody in the fucking world. Go around and work corner to corner to corner. Just killing people left and right. Good, bad, ugly. Just kill, 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 kill. Eat their corpses too. Same ending. As if you're a saint that helped everybody. Doesn't matter. Your time here does not matter. You don't affect the world. You don't affect the ending. Nothing's really different. Yeah, you can take out some evil factions that are here. But there's no mention of it at the end. If you want to know what I'm talking about, play Fallout 2, 3, or 4. Or 2, 3, two, three or New Vegas. Play them. Watch the detailed endings that change based on what you did in the world. Because it tells you your personal story of what happened to you in the world. The only thing that New Vegas did wrong, that Fallout 3 did right, was after you hear your cool story at the end that's detailed to you, Fallout 3 fans could continue playing. New Vegas, you had to go back before the final battle started. You had to load your file. That was dumb. That was a mistake. And how fast the guns de degraded? Maybe a little bit. It could it could have been tweaked. That's two mistakes in the entire game. Want to compare it to the ones in this piece of shit? I don't think so. So, anyways, I was already set after I seen this. Uh, to use it as a builder just do some building and experiment not really get into the story as much as I could have and I'm not going to talk it up I haven't been talking it up online I've just been keeping to myself about it I like the build system that's cool but it's the only thing you did fucking right and then they made 76 and if you got to play the demo for 76, or you were 
actually misfortunate enough to go out and buy the fucking thing. Guilty. Um, it is a horrible fucking game. It is the worst fucking game I've ever seen. It is boring. A lot of shit in the game has been cut and pasted from other Bethesda properties over to the game. It is so full of glitches that it's fucking ridiculous. So while you're trying to fall asleep or kill the Skyrim dragon that they transported into the game, you have to deal with fucking glitches along the way. No. Just about everything about that that game is the shit that we don't like in the other games. <laughs> I don't know. So, anyways, I will not be buying... I will probably not be buying any more Bethesda products. Uh, DLCs, games, whatever. The only one I'll even consider... It's the new Elder Scrolls. And will I get early release? No. Will I buy it after the release? Probably not. I will wait, I don't know, a few months. See what other people who are unfortunate enough to try it say about it. See if they're, if they did a good job at writing a story and a gameplay and they didn't fuck it up with some stupid feature like, play with all your friends, you know. Or something like that. And uh, then I'll consider buying it. Hopefully by then it'll be a discount. That way if they dicked me over like they did with 76. Or this fucking game. Or you know a couple other titles that I won't mention. Then at least it won't be so bad. <laughs> In the meantime. I'll be playing a game that's actually made well. Called Far Cry New Dawn. Far Cry New Dawn is kind of what we hoped this piece of shit was going to be. Hmm. The build system's not enough. Sorry, Dodd. It's not enough. It's cool. But... I know... Far Cry... Or Far Cry... I know Fallout... is a shooter series. But people don't look at it like that. They look at it an RP as an RPG with guns. That's what it's always been. Go back and play... Fallout 1 and 2 deal with the master you got like I don't know eight different ways you can you can get past the master including reasoning with the guy it's an RPG with guns you gave us a jacked up dumbed down shooter thriller bullshit game and you slapped a cool build system in it so build system boo everything else I don't know I'm just gonna go uh, follow in my disappointment for a few minutes and then I'm gonna play Far Cry New Dawn and some other cool games that have cool storylines and options and many different guns and you know Enjoy myself. So, peace. I hope you got my points. And that you don't ever play anything like 76 again. <laughs>